Better not make myself look more suspicious than I already do. Good evening, Monsieur de Richer. Likewise, Sir Gregory. Well then, let us begin. Monsieur de Richer, you were found standing over Miss Adams' body. We must shed some light on your responsibility in this tragedy. We shall then decide on your fate. But you must know that if you do not convince us of your innocence, it will cost you dearly. Now you are going to tell us everything that happened last night without leaving any detail out. First things first, how did your evening begin? Duchess Hillsborough and I were returning to our rooms when Elizabeth came upon us. Oh, so you were with the Duchess? Yes, we were talking. We were walking up the stairs and it was late. Where did you come from? Uh, I don't remember. We came from the portrait gallery, if I remember rightly. Hmm. That is what the Duchess said. Continue. We were heading for our rooms when Elizabeth burst into the corridor, barely dressed. She was panic-stricken and insisted on speaking to me. So I found myself in Elizabeth's room. We sat down together. She insisted we have a drink or she would refuse to confide in me. Hmm. What exactly did she want to speak about at such a late hour? She was panicked. She claimed she had just seen my mother on the island. Did she say where she saw her? Huh. I seem to remember something about cliffs. Let us continue. And what happened next? Then she told me she had poured laudanum in my glass. The next minute I was on the floor. When I woke up, she was lying in a pool of blood. That is all you had to say? You expect us to believe that you have no idea what happened to her? Yes, because I'm telling you the truth. How can you possibly expect us to believe you? Gregory, we must consider every possibility. Louis, do you have any idea who could have done it? Well, even if I can't believe for a single instant that my mother could have murdered someone in that manner, she might have wanted to stop Elizabeth from speaking about their mutual past, and things might have turned nasty. It is indeed a possibility. I would like to thank you for helping us shed light on what happened last night. To be honest, you are not the only suspect. I'm prepared to believe you were dropped. Our poor Elizabeth hid the stuff everywhere, and I could smell laudanum on you three yards away. So you knew it wasn't me from the start? We weren't sure. Louis, I am sorry, but everything points in the same direction. I only know one person on this island who might have had a big enough grudge against Elizabeth, who has no alibi, and whose behavior is, well, suspect. Not to mention dangerous. Tell me what happened before my arrival. I think I've been patient enough. You don't need us for any of this. So come along, Monsieur Peru. We are leaving 